My name is Liz Miller, and I am the director of the Shoreline Project. The Shoreline Project is an interactive online documentary that has 43 short films. It has soundscapes, visualizations, and educational toolkits. And I'm delighted that it's part of Agents of Change. And I'm actually here where the origins of this project, where this project began. And I'm in Maine, which is the shoreline that I love, where I've been coming for, well, let's just say ever since I was a young person. And one year I came to the coast and noticed that the community had built a wall of rocks. And it was a way to avoid coastal erosion. And it began me thinking about how we manage coastal erosion, rising sea levels. Do we go for a manufactured reaction or response or what many people call living shorelines? And so I began this question of the future of coastal cities around the world and what would some of the challenges be in the face of climate change. And it was this beautiful place that had started me asking those questions. But then I took those questions all over the world and I worked with experts, filmmakers, engineers, all sorts of people who had something to say about the future of our coastal cities. So that is the Shoreline Project. And one of the most interesting things that happened to me while I was making the Shoreline was that I became very interested in the role of wetlands, what I came to think of generically as swamps. And swamps are very misunderstood, but they're actually key contributors in our struggle to address climate change because swamps are the best protector against coastal storms. They uh, nurture life. They also are natural carbon sinks. And they're very overlooked. When you think of a swamp, you often think of mosquitoes and staying away from swamps. And in fact, before there were cities, there were swamps. But we know so little about this. So I had the opportunity to go to the Everglades and I initiated this project called Swampscapes, which became a VR project and also an interactive documentary, much like the Shoreline Project and is also available online. And following that project, I am now working on a new project, which is using augmented reality and bicycling. And so this project is called Wastescapes. And for this project, we've developed a series of bike tours throughout my hometown, which is Montreal. And the idea is to make waste more visible to create a kind of waste literacy. And so we will travel doing zero waste on our bikes to these different wastescapes and make connections and begin to understand how waste is managed, how, what is the role of waste in our lives. So that's the new project. Um, but I am delighted to be part of this project. I think it's particularly timely because many of us under COVID have been really rethinking the local landscapes in our lives. And it's a time for us to come together, to learn about our local landscapes, and to think about how everything that we've learned through COVID, we can also apply when we begin to face the even bigger challenge, which will be climate change. So I'm delighted that you're here at the exhibit, that you're gonna go to the exhibit. I'm delighted to be a part of the exhibit. So thank you.